What is going on guys? So today I am headed over to Josh's house. He's going to be picking me up here in a minute and we are going to be working on his girlfriend's Mitsubishi Eclipse because yesterday she went to fill it up with gas and she got back in the car. It wouldn't turn over. The hood release also broke so they couldn't get the hood open. So they eventually got it into neutral, whatever, you know, they got it towed back to uh, his house. Luckily it wasn't very far from there. So we think it's either the alternator or the battery. So we're gonna start out by testing the battery and then taking that to AutoZone or whatever, seeing if it's any good. And then if that's good, we'll take out the alternator, buy a new alternator and put that in and hopefully fix the problem. Then we've also got to figure out a way how to fix the freaking hood release. So even getting into the engine bay should be a task on its own, but we're gonna see what happens. So I'll catch up with you guys when he picks me up. It is freaking hot out today. It's like 102 or something. It's it's late October. I don't know why it's still so hot out, but it's still like, it's like mostly cloudy too, and it's still this hot. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Arizona, but this is insane. It really needs to start cooling down. So the hood release on the car is broken. The cable's broken, so when you pull, on the latch here, nothing happens. So we're trying to fit, there, yeah, because there's a way online to freaking do it and get it open, but we can't figure out, we can't get the guy's instructions. We don't see what he's talking about. So hopefully we can figure it out. So we can't quite figure it out. I think we're gonna try taking the bumper off now because it doesn't look like there's anything that connects the bumper under the hood that we couldn't get to. So if we can take the bumper off, there shouldn't be any issue with manually unlocking it or unlatching it. But I mean, we just can't freaking figure it out. There's the slit to see between the bumper and the hood is so tiny. The screwdriver barely even fits in there. So it's really hard to just see anything. So we're gonna take the bumper off and see if we can get this hood open. I hate this car. It's a fucking piece of shit. So we can't, we can't even get the bumper off because the screws to take this off right here are so stripped. It's just like a crevice. Like there's no little notches to get the screwdriver in. It's just like one big hole. So you can't even unscrew these even if you wanted to. So we can't take the bumper off to get a little bit more space really, unless we like break it off, which we don't really want to do. And then I found like two or three different spaces where we can try and unlatch the hood. And like stuff is moving and like I think I have it but the hood just won't come up. So we have no idea what to do at this point but it's getting frustrating because we've probably been at it for like at least an hour by now. It's been an hour and a half. So we're in the Eclipse now and it doesn't have AC but we're going to get the battery tested. So what we had to do to get the hood open was like the dumbest thing ever. Like I read online like four or five things and they didn't all Where work. Where are we going? This way? Oh. Uh, that way. And then uh, what did we do? I, to I told you to press on the hood right where the latch is and then yeah. I'd pull the hood release and it worked. So I mean we got it open, then we jumped it, we let it run for like five or ten minutes and then... Now we're going to O'Reilly's because the battery's still under warranty. So we're hoping that the, it's just the battery that's bad and then we can get a new one for free. But yeah, this car is no AC. It's like a hundred degrees out today. It's pretty I'm, much the Laurel. I'm freaking dying right now. I was already outside in the sun sweating and my hands are all pruny from taking the gloves off. This is pretty rough. So we went to O'Reilly's and the guy was like, well, it looks like it's the alternator. So we're like, okay, well, I guess that's, I mean, at least we know. And then he's like, no, wait, it's actually the battery. So then he, they had a warranty for it from the previous owner, but apparently the warranty is not valid because they, like, it switched. They don't it switched. transfer. Yeah the, yeah, the warranty doesn't transfer names. So the warranty is basically useless. So he's going to have to buy a new battery and, uh, so that's pretty much the end of that. I mean, at least we got the hood open. That's still another problem that needs to be addressed. But at least we know how to get it open now. And I mean, a new battery will fix it not turning over, but that was just a freaking mess to deal with to try and figure that out. But I mean, in the end it worked, even though it took way longer than it should have. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Nothing really too interesting happened, but I mean, it was still fun to just, I mean, I just enjoy working on cars. So it was still fun just to work on 
uh, her car for a couple hours, even though technically we really didn't even do anything. I mean, it was still pretty fun. Found out what the problem is, so they'll get a new battery soon and that thing will be back on the road and perfectly fine instead of needing a jump every time she has to go somewhere. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Oh,